Piat? Czy czuję prince again? Nie. I demand photographic proof. So guys, welcome back to Medved Tiger. In the previous episode, we were left a little bit disappointed. I was almost certain I stumbled across a mission where I would see a Bigfoot. But it turns out somebody was playing a prank on us. Now, I've been continually trying to grind the missions just to get extra credits, which I have done, and I got myself a scope for the Model 86, which I think looks so good, and I'll show you guys in a second. But I stumbled across this mission, which says, No Such Thing and it's telling me to travel to the Kom Zverilova Eastern Outpost. Elena said something about discovering something about the truth or something like that, which, I don't know, it could be a hint that there's still a chance that one of them could be in the game. Maybe they, at first they thought it was like a prank, and then we find some footsteps which can't be explained. I'd settle for that at this point, but we're going to find out what's going on. But I wanted to show you all this. If you remember the Model 86, just look how sick this scope looks. And it gets even better. If anyone's seen a movie called Enemy at the Gates, this reminds me of Vasily Zaitsev's scope that he uses. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to use this thing. Now, a real cool trick as well, which used to be in Call of the Wild, is I think it's something along the lines of if you use a lever action rifle, it counts towards the score of your shotgun so you can unlock other things. I mean, even if that's not the case anymore, I know it used to be a thing, but even if it's not the case anymore, I've not used different rifles in quite some time. I mean, I've been using the 338 since I've got it, but we may as well use this because one, it looks sick and I can't wait to use it. And two, I want to mix it up a little bit. So I'll show you guys where I've got to head to. I've recently just discovered this outpost, which is in this region. And I want to head kind of down this trail up to this one and unlock this outpost too. I think then I've got to go even further north to the mission, which is up here. So we're just going to keep going for a few minutes. If nothing happens, I'll probably cut you guys away so you don't have to deal with me just basically walking for like three hours in this video. But there has been a lot of activity of moose up this side. And I did hear a bear just before I started recording, which made me a little bit uneasy, especially with the grizzlies on this map. But nothing. It's all just super quiet. Okay, feed zone. Nice. What have we got? We got a moose feed zone. Also, oh, we've got a call from something. Oh, we got a boar. Okay, let's see if we can bring this one in then. Which one is my caller for the boar? Is it this one? I think it is. I'm going to try and get into a little bit of cover here as well. The problem with these trees is that it's really difficult to see out of. Yes, they do hide you really well, but your vision isn't the best looking out from them. All right, we've not got a bad point here. Let's see if we can bring this thing in. I need to let you all know something as well. Like the first thing that I wanted to make you all aware, if, especially if you're new to the game, if you see any of those feed zones, then definitely get them. Like always try and examine them because especially when you come back to do what I'm doing, like the missions, it really does help out if you've got to go looking for a certain type of animal, if you know where the feed zones are. Just gives you a general area of where you can lay low and just wait there, be patient until the animal comes in. Second is that I'm getting a really weird glitch in the game as of late. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing it, and it's with the moose. Speaking of... I didn't want to take a shot at that thing then, even though it came right up to my face. I didn't want to take a shot and give away my position. Okay, I've been trying to pull a pig in for a few minutes, and I think it's just come in. Alright, we're going to go with the Model 86. Vasily Zaitsev style. Here we go. All right, I'm going to try and get it in the heart. Don't know what the drop is on this. Let's just go for it. Here we go. There's that weird recoil again. Okay, I don't know if I hit that. I think I may have missed. Again, I'm not used to this rifle, so I don't know what the bullet drops like on it. I know I've definitely got to get used to this, like especially with the new perks as well and stuff that I've got. You can see it in the lower right corner there. Please tell me we got a hit. Would be nice. Piggy? You gonna do me like this? Nope, there was some moose tracks. Wait, there we go. Okay, we definitely clipped it. So which way did you go? You went this way. But like I was saying to you all before that moose came in when I was hiding in that tree, the second problem is with the moose. Whenever I tag one, it seems like when it drops, you can see the top right corner there. When it drops with the moose to 25 to 
it just doesn't go lower than that. And I don't know if that's a problem in the game that everyone's experiencing or if it's just me. So let me know in the comments if you're having that same problem. I knew this stupid pig would do this. He's running in the complete opposite direction to where I need to go. And it's not going to go down anytime soon because these things are really stubborn. What are we at? 50 to 75. Okay, wait, what's this? Oh, it went up this way now. So you are actually doubling back to the exact point where I just left from that outpost, which is literally just over the other side of these trees. So what are you at? 50 to 75. And I can bet you guys that this thing won't be down until it's outside of the doorstep of the previous outpost. It's just my luck. It's always my luck. Please, if the next readout gives... Nope, 50 to 75. This is going to be a long run. All right, guys, we're back. And I think I've picked the most stubborn animal in the game. Like, that's no joke either, because I'll show you all where I've tracked this thing from. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit. I think we were roughly, there we go. We were roughly around here when we spotted like the, uh, the feed zone for the moose. And then the pig came in. And look how long it's taking me all the way around back down. That's where we came from at the start of the episode. I was about halfway to the outpost that I wanted to get to. And this pig is being so stubborn. I think it's going to lead me like up to this outpost. I don't know if I'm going to follow this. Also, if you didn't know, there is a mission where you have to harvest. I think it's like two or three pigs in a specific area. And that took me like a good hour and 15 minutes to get done because they're so stubborn. This is definitely the same pig though, 133 to 187, but the percentage isn't going down, it's just sticking at 50 to 75. So, do I continue to track this thing? And see if the percentage drops, like just over this hill? Or do I turn back? Because look, we're two kilometers out now. We've got all types of different wildlife coming in. I think we're actually going to the area where you saw, in a previous video, a really good hotspot for the animals in Medved Tiger. Okay, some more footprints. Where's the next patch? Okay, what does this one say? 50 to 75. Moose is just taken off. Oh, wait, we've got a bear there. Oh, wait, is that my pig? No, it's a pig. There's a lot of pigs. Look, there's a bear over there. I th that most probably guys that will be my pig the one that's still running away he knows but again it's this area I'll show you guys on the map exactly where it is you remember from the episode it's just this whole area it's full of wildlife and you do get that from time to time that's a male grizzly bear too where are you at oh little piggy just had to lay down in front of us you know what that's a shame because I'm stressed that I lost the other pig so, you know what? We're going overkill. I'm going 338. I don't even care. I want to get at least one. Of course it doesn't go down. Of course it doesn't go down. That was right on its neck. Where did you go, pig? I'm going to stand my ground. There he is. Wait, is it that one or is it this one? There's too many to tell. Let me try and get to the... Uh to the spot. Look at the percentage. Hello, moose friend. So I found the pig that I clipped, which should be that one there. You can see it. Another piggy's come in. And a vampire kangaroo. This deer's getting really close to me. I love that when you can see the, uh, the air coming out of the nostrils. Zoom in on that. The modeling in this game is really well done. I will say that. It looks really, really good. Should I take this musk deer? I feel really bad when I take those things out. The pigs, not so much, because they give me a headache. And they're all coming back in again. They're everywhere. Okay, musk deer. Vasily Zaitsev. Here we go. Nice. That was a shot Vasily Zaitsev would have been proud of too. I love when he chambers the rounds in this rifle too. It looks so good. All right, let's go and get what we uh, what we came for. And I think we're finally going to get to double back. I might take the ATV and just get to that outpost. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we just got an achievement. True Musk. 
It should say true vampire kangaroo, but that's actually a pretty decent shot. I got all the things. Okay, this one wasn't a bad shot either, considering it was laid down, and I love how it shows the animation of how the pig was when I took the first shot. Also, if you didn't know this, you can rotate this. It doesn't have to be left on the, uh, the spin animation. You can rotate and mess around with this to get a more detailed look. Flesh, left scapula. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna double back, jump on an ATV and get back to the point where we were at before. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so as you've just seen, we made it to the outpost. We've got another one for the collection. Now, one thing that I did want to say to you guys, if there's anyone looking for moose, like just in general, or with it to do with a mission, this stretch of road from around this area here, down from about here, this stretch of road is just full of moose. I don't know, maybe that's gonna help someone down the line, either with a mission or if you're just generally looking for moose, but I could not believe how many need zones were down there, how many moose I actually spotted in the tree line that were running away when they heard the ATV. It was just insane. But what I'm about to do now is I'm gonna head down to the actual lake. I'm gonna follow this all the way up and then go to this point here, which has a track going to this outpost. I already have it and I could just fast travel there, but I like doing this on the ATV. So here we go. to check on this outpost, but somebody moved that ATV. Take a closer look. That's the first thing I noticed when I pulled into this outpost. For a second, I thought someone else was in my game and then I realized it's part of the mission. Who moved this ATV? So what's she actually asking me to do? Let's bring up the hunter mate, see what it says. Examine the broken ATV. Oh, I'm examining it. Is it giving me an option to click on it? There we go, interact. Out of gas. Trutrunya isn't real, but if he was, he wouldn't be siphoning gas tanks. This must be masked deer poachers or late season mammoth pirates. I'll send word to the police. If you find any footprints, photograph them for me. I'll need that for the police. <laughs> At the rate we are filing these reports, we are lucky the cops don't charge by the hour. Elena, why won't you just believe that it's 1000% real? Because I do. Oh, here's the footprints again. Blina Piat? Chuchunya prints again? Yet. I demand photographic proof. Wait a second. So. I don't know if you guys took from that what I did. I mean, it looked very straightforward because Elena said, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm going to go with Elena, though, that somebody had siphoned the gas out of the ATV and that's why it was like it was. And then we've just stumbled across the same footprints from a previous mission. And I think that startled Elena a little bit. I think there's more this way. See, I don't want to get my hopes up again, just in case there isn't anything. Look, it's still saying, the readout is still saying 100 to 200. I know I've got to photograph them, but I want to see where they go. Elena isn't a believer. I'm going to make one when I find the Bigfoot. Okay, do they just keep going? I think they do. Yeah, look, they just keep going in this direction. Now, wait a second, is that, do they go that way? Oh no, they stopped there. Okay, so I think these are the last ones. This is what happened last time. I was trying to track down where they actually led to. 
and they just stopped. That's my fo footprint, right? Yeah, okay, it is. That confused me a second. All right, let's grab a photograph. We can't conduct a scientific survey while some jokers are out here pretending to be Chuchunya or Bigfoot or whatever. Track these criminals down. Do not engage them. We just need to tip off the police. Follow the tracks. Remember, you're not a commander. You're just documenting evidence. Elena, I've already done that. Okay. The trail ends here. Hmm. They were smart enough to cover their tracks. Okay, again, 2,500 reward for that. Whoever is doing this, we need to warn the locals. I can cover the Nenets. The only other person near you is Georgi Grankin. He's an older man, excellent carpenter, totally harmless. I've marked his cabin on the hunter mate. Okay, so I've got to travel to... Georgi used to be a doctor in Moscow. Very prominent. He gave up the city life to move out here in 1978. He's alone and he prefers it that way. So don't be surprised if he and his dogs bark at you when you approach. That could be kind of cool. So, there's actually dogs in Call of the Wild? I thought that was limited to the old uh, Hunter Classic. But we are going to accept that. Georgie Grankin's cabin. Seems like a bit of a lone wolf. So, where is that on the map? Where are you telling me to go, Elena? Okay, so it's over this way. I think I've come across that before. All right, let's follow the trail to there. I'm going to keep you guys with me for this because I have no idea what to expect. And she mentioned dogs. Don't be surprised if his dogs start barking at you. For, unless he's not going to be there. Because I think most of this game is the isolation of you and the wild. So I can't imagine that he will be there. But I mean, that was still kind of cool. The way she, um, she was talking about she couldn't believe that there was more tracks like this. There's a very weird impression in these. Once I move my arm, you guys will be able to see. There we go. You guys can see it. There's like a, almost like a knuckle in them. And then the claw marks that I was talking about from the previous episode. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to jump straight on the ATV. How far away is it? It's literally just down the road. So it's follow it all the way from where the prints go. And then I should come to the waypoint and it's somewhere in this area. I'm just going to find his cabin. I'm going to keep you guys with me for this. But I like that. That's what I was talking about. I'm trying not to spoil everything. But obviously, like, the Chichunya, a.k.a. what I think is supposed to be a Bigfoot. And you guys know how much I talk about this stuff. So let's just keep going, then. Travel to the area marked on your map. As a quick side note, I wanted to kind of get a few impressions from you guys at home. If you do use the ATV, I mean, I do use it quite a lot, but I would like to see at some point in Call of the Wild ways to use maybe perks or skills to add on to the ATV. Stuff like extra storage space, because someone's gone to the trouble of, like, making this on the back. And it could definitely be used as, like, storage. I don't know why the ATV is doing that. Relax. There we go. You see that suspension compress. But it would be nice to see, like, storage or a way to access the back of it. Maybe just... Put like one extra rifle in there or maybe just even the bow or a folded up tent or something. I think it'd be nice. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so we're in the area now. So we got to look around this area. I'm going to keep my uh, 86 out just in case. Search the area for grumpy old George. And it did say a cabin too, so I'm looking for any recognizable sites that may look like a structure or something. Okay, I think I found grumpy George's cabin should be this just up ahead what i always like to ask you guys is questions that i'm always wondering when i play games like this would anybody do th i know there's people around the world that do live in areas like this especially in winter time when the snow comes down a lot heavier than what i'm used to but how many of you guys would stay out in the woods and just kind of experience this whole feel i think it'd be interesting to know the wind's definitely kicking up. I'm not seeing any dogs either, so I think grumpy old George. This is Georgi's cabin, but why aren't his dogs barking? Move in for a closer look. Okay, we're now on detective work. The door's open. There's a, a jerry can half submerged into the snow. I this gas canister. Georgi relies on dogs and a sled for transportation. He doesn't need gasoline. Please, check inside. I'm on it, Elena. Maybe Georgi took his dogs to the village for supplies. 
Anything unusual there? Signs of foul play? Yes. To tune your feet. And you say they smell like gasoline. Short. Here I am thinking Georgi is some prankster's victim, but Georgi is the prankster. What is the old man thinking? Please, take a photo to document this for the police. So, it was George all along. George made these so-called Chachunya footsteps by making whatever the hell this is. I can't believe you've done this, George. You've broken my heart. All right, let's take a picture. Thank you. So, perhaps old Georgi has lost his mind. I think it's best that you collect any firearms from the cabin before you leave. That shotgun is old, it's rusty, but if it still fires, it's good for protection against bears. Oh wait, did I just get a free shotgun? Well, I need to call the police. Thank you for handling this with your usual discretion. Georgi is an old friend of the Nanets. Hopefully he meant no harm. I will be in touch shortly. Okay, we got Grenkin's shotgun. That's kind of cool. So from that mission... You actually gain... I mean, we don't get to see a Bigfoot, but we gained a weapon. I mean, that's a pretty good trade-off. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I am fuming at George. I can't believe that he would do this. No! George, why would you do this? I want to know where he's gone, though. That doesn't make sense, because, like Elena said, he relies on his dogs to get around, almost like a sled. And there's a weird jerry can just left there. There's also vampire kangaroo. Which has been making noise all the way through that mission. Oh wait, is that it? That is it. <laughs> Fairly certain I tagged that pretty well. Where did you go? I think it ran off into the trees. We may as well go ahead and track this thing down, but... I kind of knew that's how it was going to end. And you know what, George? Grumpy old George. Because of what you did... You shoot your windows out. Okay, so I think this is taking me to the next mission then. I actually thought she was going to shout at me then because I put two bullet holes in George's windows. Investigate the reports of a wounded animal in the area. Okay, well, we're not going to do that just yet. I'm going to see what was going on with this uh, musk deer or vampire kangaroo. There's another one over there. Okay, I was just taking a look at the ice and I noticed this little guy. Male... Vampire kangaroo. If you guys haven't seen the episodes, by the way, which, when I started Medbed Tiger, people who are watching this for the first time will probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to go with this with a 270. How far away is that? I should have brought the, uh, the rangefinder. You know what? I'm just going to eyeball it. Probably around 150 meters away. Maybe inside that. Let's see what we can do. Nice. That could not have gone any better. Probably used the wrong caliber rifle, but I'll take it. All right, let's go see how we did. Okay, so how did we do? Flesh, left lung, 100%. The distance, 164 meters away. Okay, so it was a little bit under what I thought it was. Actually, it was a little bit over what I thought it was. Bronze, I mean, I'll take it. Again, it couldn't have gone any better. I think I've just heard a lynx too. Another quick tip, especially if you play this map quite a lot. If you've got any of the outposts, the lodges, like close to this ice area or this icy area, normally what the animals tend to do, especially early on in the morning, is they come out onto the ice. And it, obviously this is wide open. So if you want to get that targeting down, especially playing around with different rifles and stuff, this is a good place to do it. But guys, I think we're going to end it here for today. Let me know what you think about the missions. If you want me to carry on with them, let me know in the comments below. But for now, we are going to end it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all. What was that that just peeked over at me from that tree? It was nothing. It was a lug. I'll see you all in the next one.